Uh, Marcus Bonfanti, I've just been finishing up my course here with uh, Music Gurus on finding your voice within the blues. And uh, I thought we had a bit of spare time, so I thought I'd play a little song. It's an arrangement of mine of The Sliding Delta by Mississippi John Hurt. I thought I'd play it for you and then uh, we can deconstruct the guitar part afterwards and I'll show you how you can play it for yourself. I'm leaving you, honey, what the world you're waiting on Oh, see, see, right, oh, won't you see what you done done Well, you made me love you, now your man done gone My suitcase is packed and my trunk's already gone I'm leaving you, honey, what the world you're waiting on So that was a song called The Sliding Delta, it's an old Mississippi John Hurt song. Um, and that arrangement I've done is kind of based a little bit on Colin Hodgkinson's, a little bit on Doc Watson's, uh, but it's very much kind of my own thing, I suppose. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that, show you some of the techniques we'll be exploring in the course. They all sort of, you know, take place in that song. And I thought it'd just be fun if I just showed you the approach of that song and showed you how to play it. So you got that, you got something there already. So it's, uh, the song's just built out of three chords. It's built out of the E. B7 and the A7. Now what we'll do, we'll just focus on the body of the song, the main part uh, that, you know, is the intro and also backs up the singing. And I'll sort of tell you a little bit about what I was doing in the solo section, but that one's always left up to interpretation. That's where the fun starts. So anyway, this is a technique called hybrid picking, which I go into in depth in the course. Um, but just a brief sort of, you know, introduction to it. It's when you play with your plectrum, but also your fingers. So you're getting you know, a little bass line and chordal work going, frees up your fingers to be able to place a melody line. So I'll just show you where it's sort of based out of is this kind of technique. So you've got that little bass line and chord thing rolling along. And that's kind of the basis of the song. That's what's driving it along. And then once you get confident with it, you embellish it. And then it's adding the melody. Now the melody on its own is. That's your kind of melody. It's what I sing with the vocal. So for the intro, I like to put the little melody on the, uh, on the top of the guitar. So, um, here I'll show you very slow the two working together, just so you can kind of get the measure of the right hand technique. The left hand technique isn't that tough, but it is involve a lot of this little finger action of playing the uh, melodies along with the chords. Again, this is something I go into in the course and show you some kind of useful tips. Anyway, here we go. Should be noticing that the plectrum kind of comes and helps the fingers out every now and then because as you're playing bass lines on the sixth string and the fifth string when you get to the a you're kind of up in the same 
places where the melody's going. So the plectrum can come in and uh, help out the fingers. I'll just play it one more time. And if you just look out for that little piece of technique where the plectrum comes and joins the melody, but still manages to play the chord. Body of the song. Once you get comfortable with that, you can sing over the top of that and, uh, and, and have some fun. Now, when we get to the solo section, this is a lot of what the course is based out of. Is it based out of being able to play a solo without really having to rely too much on chordal backing or kind of influencing the way chords sound by the notes you play. So when I play my solo shows, it's just me on my own playing these songs. When it comes to the solo sections, I like to mix up bits of chordal work, bits of uh, you know lead line work to create you know, a solo that feels like the band is still playing. Now, I can't remember what solo I just played, so I can't really tell you too much about that. But um, I'll play you another little example. And now, I, with, you know, you've got the idea of me playing, you know, trying to mix the chordal and mix the, uh, the, you know, the single note stuff up together, but keeping maintaining that groove of the song. That's the thing that's got to stay. You want to hear the song, carry on, and, and, and have the same motion as it has. So I'll take a little solo and, um, Try and remember <laughs> some of the techniques that I'll be talking about in the uh, in the course will be present in what I'm doing. So here we go. Back into the slide and delta. Oh, that's that. So there you are. Here's a little overview to how to play the sliding delta. Hope you have fun with it, and uh, I'll see you over on the Music Guru's website.